Hey guys, this is Andrew Sluter, pastor of Bible Baptist Church here in Asheville, North Carolina. Coming to you with a video, just wanting to express my thoughts and my opinion on some things surrounding this whole Kanye West stuff. Um, I was very hesitant to jump on the bandwagon, um, either bandwagon, saying Kanye saved or Kanye's lost because I'm not going to judge a man's salvation. You know, unless he's just bla preaching blatant heresy or, uh, you know, there's something very wrong with his testimony. I just don't know. Nobody on planet Earth knows if Kanye is really saved or Kanye is really lost, okay? That's between him and the Lord. Now, the reality of it, though, is that even though Kanye has made this profession, um, there's been a whole lot of people and a lot of preachers and Christians who I think have gotten over anxious to have this modern-day Apostle Paul. You know, he was a Hollywood rapper, you know, doing all the hellish stuff and, you know, living a wicked lifestyle, and then all of a sudden he has this radical transformation. I think we've gotten so anxious to claim a, a modern-day Apostle Paul that we've winked and closed our eyes to some of the blatant stuff, you know, the blatant wrong that's, that's happening um, I mean, the guy is still singing rap music. I mean, I've preached against rap music for years, years. And I've preached against Christian rap. And I know preachers who've preached against Christian rap who are now embracing and quoting and, and recommending even the lyric, or excuse me, the album that Kanye West just put out and some of the songs just because Kanye has had this, you know, change, made a profession, we don't know if it's real or not. I, listen, I lead I lead people to the Lord all the time through door knocking and soul winning, you know, the bus ministry. We have lots of people that make professions here at Bible. I don't know if they're really saved or really not. So I'm not going to say he's, you know, saved, not saved, whatever. What I'm saying is, is that just because he's made a profession does not mean we now embrace everything that he's doing. He's preaching in Joel Osteen's church. He's selling merchandise. I mean, he's making a dollar off all this. And I mean, but some of you out there don't even care because we've got independent Baptist preachers that are selling merchandise in God's house. Listen, you look up the word merchandise in the King James Bible, it is never going to come back positive. It's always going to come back negative. Negative. In fact, the most prominent time when I think of merchandise, Jesus goes in, he flips the tables of the money changers, and he said, he said you've made my house a house of merchandise. So, folks, uh, listen, this whole Kanye West thing, I'm, I'm kind of baffled at why preachers... Listen, if he's saved, great. I hope he grows in the Lord. If he's not truly saved, I hope a good Bible believer who has the right gospel gets in there and tells him the truth. But regardless, it does not change the fact that this music he's promoting is wrong regardless of the lyrics. It does not change the fact that he's hooking up with false preachers and apostates. It does not change the fact that he is making merchandise of God's people selling all this stuff. It doesn't change any of that. And I'm not simply going to close my eyes just because, you know, well, he's a babe in Christ. He He's a new Christian. I, I, I understand all that. 100% I understand all that. But folks, how long do we have to wait? Or what exactly, what line does he exactly have to cross in order for some preachers to stand up and say, hey, wait a second, uh, you know, maybe we shouldn't, you know, promote him or talk about, you know, work it up all this, uh, work all this stuff up. I mean, the Bible says lay hands on no man suddenly. So folks, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I hope Kanye West is saved. I hope he's going to heaven. I really do. I cannot tell you how much I want the man. I want everybody to go to heaven. But the reality of it is, is not everybody's going. And not everybody who says they're going uh, is going either. And regardless of if he's saved or lost, uh, we've got to draw some lines in the sand. And, and independent Baptist preachers should not be promoting Kanye West. Period. Hands down. It just shouldn't be happening. It's very unwise, it's very foolish, and it's sending mixed signals to our young people. So folks, I, and, oh, and, and, and the cherry on top, I mean to boot, I'm sure, and of course I don't know this, uh, maybe I should have looked this up before, but it literally just popped in my brain. He's probably not using the King James Bible. He's definitely not hooking up with people who are using the King James Bible. I mean, I just, I don't see a reason 
why independent Baptist preachers are promoting them. And I'm against it. And uh, once he starts singing good conservative gospel music and uh, he starts going to a Baptist church and he starts reading the King James Bible and preaching out of the King James Bible, then I'll consider using them. But not a day before then. All right, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It may be unpopular and you may not like it. And you may have all your opinions and that's fine. Comment your opinions. It does not bother me a bit. But I'm drawing a line in the sand on this whole st on this uh, this Kanye West stuff. It's it's ridiculous. It's gone on too far, or it's gone on too long, and it's gone too far. All right, folks. God bless you. Is my prayer.